Hi guys, so something happened on Twitter yesterday that caused quite the uproar and ruckus. And um, I wanted to kind of address that a little bit further on Snapchat just because um, I believe it's a far bigger conversation than what it was. And I also want to give a little bit of context into what happened. Um, so basically, as you guys know, I just uploaded my recreating my followers makeup looks video on Tuesday. Today is Thursday. And um, I put a few ads in the video. And um, as soon as I uploaded it, I got a few tweets from people being like, oh my god, why are there so many ads? I believe there were six in total. Um, there's always an ad before a video and always an ad after a video like the bumpers and then I did four in between since I did three makeup looks I put an ad in between each one and before the grand reveal of all three which in my head seemed pretty justified considering I had spent an entire two days filming the video and it was almost 30 minutes long but um I got a few tweets about it from you guys who people who watched the video and thought the ads were too distracting or there were too many of them or they were just too long and my first reaction was just to be annoyed and I quote tweeted her and I said hey listen Six ads on a 30 minute video is roughly four minutes of advertisement content if you let it play all the way through. Um, on YouTube though, there's almost always the skip ad button, which let's be real, we all tend to click kind of often because nobody wants to sit through an ad. Um, I also said that YouTube takes a really, really huge percentage of creators' money from ads at the end of the month. It's either 45% or 55% if you didn't know. I'm actually not sure which one it is, um, but regardless of whatever number it is, that's very, very high. Um, and I also said that on TV, if you're watching content that is equal length, for example, 30 minutes, there's eight minutes of advertising content. It's always the 22 to eight ratio and TV ads are not skippable. And this whole tweet caused quite a ruckus. Now, this is a very, very large issue that I should not have condensed into one tweet. That is definitely my own fault and I take full responsibility, but I have also gotten to many a scandal in the past for leaving things open to interpretation, so I don't really know what to do anymore. But now that it's been a few days and I've had a chance to calm down, I wanted to kind of jump in and talk about it just a little bit more and further address the situation um, and just kind of give you guys a little bit of background into what I meant. Um, first of all, I want to start off by saying that I did go ahead and remove a few of the ads on on the video um, because I do get where a lot of you guys were coming from. Um, there were definitely a lot of responses saying that having a lot of ads was coming across as me being greedy or wanting more money and that's definitely not the case and I can see that um, and I don't want you guys to be annoyed or distracted while watching my videos so I got it. But there are definitely still ads on the video and they will, they will never be removed. Um, and I'll tell you why as well because I think that's why I was so frustrated is that I did have a really important point to make while talking about this and because of the fact that I put so many things in my original tweet the main point kind of like whoosh, slipped under the carpet which once again my fault um when this all started blowing up one of the biggest responses that I got from people was oh you need to stop complaining you need to stop talking about this you're so greedy stop trying to hide the fact that you just want money from us your job is to make your fans happy and without us you'd be absolutely nothing and while yes that is true um you guys are obviously there for me and I'm able to support myself and my family and my full staff because of you guys watching my videos. My job is not to make people happy. My job is to produce content that I am proud of and to share my art with you guys. And if people want to watch it, that's great. Um, if content creators jobs was to make everybody happy, we would all literally quit because making several million people all happy is the absolute hardest thing in the entire world and it is literally not possible. There were also a lot of people saying that like, oh, well, I started watching YouTube because I love it and it's a platform where people can express themselves and do what they love and have a really good time while doing it too. Um, which, duh, hello, yes, I agree. I started watching YouTube because a lot of my favorite creators were putting in a lot of work into their videos and you could tell how to made your passion for it. And I feel the same way. I love doing what I'm doing um, and I love making videos for you guys and I love doing crazy makeup looks and being creative. And if I did not love this, I would quit and find something else to do. Um, but because of the fact that I've gained a large following and because of the fact that I like doing this, I've chosen to make it my job. And it is my job. And just like everybody, just like a lot of people have a regular nine to five, I have to show up for work. And I don't, I don't like taking breaks and taking time off and taking breaks. Um, it's just not how I personally like to work because I like to take this very, very seriously. And I think of it as a job. 
Um, and I think that that's where like the issue arises that a lot of people don't like to think of YouTube as a job. And that's not cool. And I, I'm not going to sit here and justify the amount of work and the workload because I've done that enough and I feel like a broken record at this point. You guys don't need to hear it. Um, and I know that most of you guys do understand and do know this, but there's a lot of people that don't and that's okay. But that's the whole point of having these conversations is that both people, followers, consumers, but also media starts to understand the value and importance of these content creators because it's... Hmm. It's not the same as television. And I think that that's one of the other mistakes I made in my tweet as well. Um, the beauty of YouTube is that it's not the same. It's very, very different. Um, but there are a whole lot of similarities as well.